way you do the math, Guam is spending much more than it's getting to provide services to the citizens of the freely associated states. In fact, last year, the territory only received $16.8 million in compact impact funding, but fiscal year 2010 proved to be the most expensive year for Gov Guam. In the latest report submitted to the Department of Interior this month, it was noted that Gov Guam in the last fiscal year alone spent more than $63 million to provide educational and social services to citizens from the FAS who migrated to Guam under the provisions of the Compacts of Free Association. A breakdown of the total costs shows that the Department of Education spent the most, expending a total of $28.1 million, public safety agencies expending $17.1 million, while the Department of Public Health and Social Services reported $14.6 million in expenses, with another $8 million spent for MIP and $4.7 million for Medicaid. The cost for the government to provide these services has increased dramatically in the last seven years. Since 2004, GovGuam has spent more than $324 million. In fiscal year 2004, the impact of the Compacts of Free Association was pegged at $31 million. That figure has now doubled with the latest report reflecting the $63.7 million figure. But the proof is in the pudding, so to speak, and the U.S. Government Accountability Office has sent a group to evaluate the impact Impacts. Today they met with the Bureau of Statistics and Plans, the University of Guam, the Department of Education, and the Guam Memorial Hospital. BSP Director Tommy Morrison. They're basically here to address the impacts of Compact Free Association and how the federal government, government is going about addressing or assessing the impacts of uh, migrants in Guam and uh, how, how the what other uh, steps they can take to address this matter. The fact-finding visit was prompted by a request by several congressional leaders, including Guam Delegate Madeline Berdalio. Tomorrow, the representatives are scheduled to meet with Governor Eddie Calvo, Revan Tax, as well as members of the 31st Guam Legislature. Senator Frank Blas Jr. says his message will be clear. $30 million in compact impact funding split between four jurisdictions is significantly inadequate. There's money that has to be paid as, because of what you owe, and there's going to be, pr prospectively, there's going to be money that you're going to have to pay because we have to continue to provide these services. So I have to make sure that these two conversations are had instead of just, you know, one-sided being, okay, what, what, what can we do in the future for future services? Well, we also have, you know, uh, monies that you owe us because of services we provided in the past. It's interesting to note that congressional leaders from the state of Arkansas and American Samoa also sought studies to be conducted in their jurisdictions. This means Guam, Hawaii, and the CNMI could have to further split compact impact funding in the future. $30 million, cutting, cutting that uh, even that much smaller, is really not going to help this process. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.